Hi, I'm Jack Burgess and this is my first Photoshop tutorial on today we're going to be learning about the liquify tool. Just about to get a picture that I can use it on. I've just pulled off a random picture of some bloke off of Google Images. Um, you want to come up to filter and then if we go down you will find liquify click on liquify as you can see it will open up a new window and this is the liquify window in which you can do lots of cool stuff it's actually quite funny some of it as you can see I'm just putting some horns on the skeezer's head by clicking on the top left tool that will drag some of the main features out and you can adjust the brush size make it really big make it really small and see I've made it really big there and I've increased the size of his forehead and it's actually a really good tool you can use it to just make things look funny you can use it to increase like the features of people's faces like their eyes or their nose or make their mouth smaller and now I think I'm gonna go down to the second tool sorry I've pre-recorded this so I'm talking over it and this tool sucks in like sucks in what is round the um, in the brush size so as you can see it's flattening its head there taking the spikes away it's starting to look a bit normal again but as you can see now I'm making his face really small as you can see one eye and it, look, it keeps like the shape and everything so it doesn't really it looks kind of realistic obviously if you overdo it it won't look as realistic but and now he has a really small face, which is quite funny. And moving on to the next tool. This one is the same tool, but in an opposite way. And it increases the size instead of making it smaller. As you can see, I'm making the skeezer's lips much bigger. This one, I'm not really sure what it does, but it kind of like pushes it about a bit. And like goes, say you drag it to the left, it'll go to the right. It's like an A. And there's just so many different things you can do with this. Now he looks kind of grumpy. On to the next one, it's a simple zoom, so you can go in. And now I'm going to go back to the the increasing size tool, make the brush a bit bigger. And then you can get really in detail, like, make the pupils bigger make the eyebrows bigger and as you can see there they kind of look really eerie type and you can do lots and lots of different things now it obviously doesn't look as realistic give them a little button nose bring come to the eyebrows make them really thin and you can really make things look really quite good on these. I'm just going to zoom back out so you can see that. And then once you've uh, once you've done that, you can just hit restore all, start again, have another little play. And it's really, really simple to use. There's not many tools, but you can do so much with the tools that you are given. And that's what makes it really quite fun to play with. Just going to increase the brush size. Now, I am going to try and make quite a funny one for you. You can see what I'm doing. Thank you. 
as you can see, I've gone for like a telly dubby effect there. I'm probably not going to stick with that. I'll probably sharpen up his ears, make him into a bit of an elf. And then once you have done and you're happy with your final design, you just take it back to Photoshop. Simple as, then you can add some filters to it, make it look a bit more professional, just adjust some things, and you're done. Thank you, I've been Jack Burgess, and this is my first Photoshop tutorial. Goodbye.